everyone. I wanted to share with you my October uh, To Kill a Kit uh, October layout share. And my main goal was to use up this DCWV Honey Chic stack. Um, I have, I think, 65 paper pads. This is one of them. Um, this is probably my least favorite. And um, I was able to kill this pad pretty good this month. Um, I do have three big sizes left over. So this one I will use as uh, backing probably in my November kit. Um, this one, I just, I got bored with the kit. I mean, these are pretty easy to use, but I got bored throughout the month. Um, so I did leave these three left open because why just use them when I was bored and not make a little that I, I would like. So that's where I was with this. I do have a few scraps, cut aparts, um, this purple sheet, which I'll put in my October or my November kit, and then just some more cut aparts. This page was really hard to use. Um, but that's all I have left. So I did really well. And I want to share with you uh, the layouts that I created. Um, I did use this as a scrap lift, and this one came out really good. Most of them I like. Some of them, you know, they're not my favorite. But what I did is I decided um, not to scrapbook meaningful stories. And I'll go through it and I'll explain it. Um, will I do this again? Yes, I've already picked my next paper pad that I'm going to use. This one is a little softer. It's not as loud as that one. Um, so I'll be able to probably not get bored with this as fast. Um, but this is another DCWV half with glitter. Um, and um, I'll probably scrap lift this one as well. But um, I want to get through these old paper pads that I purchased when um, I first started scrapping. I thought they were a great idea. Oh, they're half price. I got to have them. Um, now my, my style has changed. Um, so we're going to get through this. But that won't be for another three, four months. So, But that's on my schedule. Um, so the first thing I did is I started a Traveler's Notebook. And I've never done a Traveler's Notebook before. And I decided that I wanted to do one on... Um, my husband and my daughter and I, we wanted to get more health conscious. So I thought this would be a great idea, great jumping point to document and see what we were doing. Um, so I did glue two pages together because this will be for the month of October. Um, and it just gave it more um, stability, I thought. This is a Webster page one. Um, I got at Joanne Fabrics for half price. And I think I have another one. It was a uh, two... two uh, Traveler's Notebook in, in the one package. So I am going to decorate this, but in November. Um, this is uh, Water Week, meaning that we decided we were going to drink our water. Everybody, we were going to hydrate. We were going to stay hydrated because we wanted to do this slow. Um, this is my husband running in the park with my dog. Um, and we found a rock in the state of Ohio. They have this uh, Ohio rock rock rules or something like that and so if you find these painted rocks people paint them and put them places if you find them you're supposed to pick them up post them on Facebook and then rehide them so this is one that we found um, in the park when we were uh, running this is my dog she got a little overheated so just wanted to take a picture I did put some iridescent Vicky Booten on the enamel dots they kind of glazed over uh, the lemons are for the water that we drink. And I just talk about that. Uh, week two is Get Stepping Week. So I tried to put something on, on the side there. And basically I'm talking about finding time in your day to walk even when you're busy. So I found a park. I would drop my daughter off uh, for volleyball. It was the end of the season. So they had to be there an hour early. Um, the game. So I would go, I would drop her off. I'd go walk. Then I'd go and watch her games. So that worked out really well. And the leaves were changing. So I took some pictures and that's me and my shadow. So, uh, that was week two. Week three is a reboot. Um, it was my birthday week and we went to Hocking Hills and, um, we had an awesome time. We re, re the rock that we had found in week one. Um, but we did eat out a lot because we were there for the weekend. And um, it wasn't always the healthiest. So I kind of wanted to put my um, goals down on, you know, things I wanted to do and stuff. Um, this I have to decorate yet. Um, I must not have finished it. But um, so there's that. And this is a picture of his at the, the cliffs. Um, this is one of my favorite pages. Um, I'm going to put a picture of 
myself here and this talks about confidence so I was watching this show and this woman was going for a job interview and it's just you know it's a comedy sitcom and she was in the elevator go she kept saying I am a warrior I am a goddess I am a warrior I am a goddess I got this but it made me think that you know sometimes maybe that's not such a bad mantra to use and that maybe we should do that um, and, you know, be self-assured in, in what you're doing, your job or your family or whatever. I think sometimes we second guess ourselves and I don't, I don't think we should. I think, you know, you should be confident in yourself. So that I, I wanted to scrap. This one, um, is balance. So all about balance in your life. These are stones that um, I purchased at Earthbound. And basically, it's supposed to bring inner peace and balance. They're called worry stones. And um, when you have them, you, you know, you're supposed to rub them, and they're supposed to bring your balance and blah, blah, blah. But um, I think the more that I work in this Traveler Notebook, I realize that, you know, hey, I have to have time for scrapping. I have to have time for less. I have to have time. But I have to have time for me. I have to have time for my husband and family time. So this is just a reminder page of balance. Um, and that's this week, so I haven't uh, written in it. I'll probably write in it tonight. And then I'll glue these two pages together. Stick these two pages together. And uh, I don't know what I'll do with these. Um, I might write um, recipes or meal plans or something um, of what we ate. Because that's always good to have to go back. So, um, so that's my traveler's notebook. Then I also wanted to use the paper pad. Um... For my daughter's going to be moving away in two years, uh, going to college. So I wanted to give her some of the recipes that she likes. So this one I hand wrote, and this is called Smoothie Time. Um, these all came together pretty fast. I mean, they're just, you know, strips. This was uh, um, one of the cards that came off of the cut aparts. And just a chipboard, you know, with some circles I glued down. Um, this one is just our favorite meal. Um, used up an acrylic that's been laying around my desk, lemon for the lemon juice that you put on it. Um, I kind of toned down the paper with this craft. Um, yeah, quick, simple. Uh, this one I need to print the picture yet for. Um, I really liked how this came out. Now I used the glaze on this as well. I don't know if you can see it. And then I also used, um, some drops. I don't know what these are called. What are these called? Enamel accent. Um, which I found at Tuesday morning and those came out really good. I, I'll use those some more. Uh, this is uh, my chili and my family loves my chili. Um, and we eat that a lot. So that's, um, a really meaningful recipe card for her. Oh, I did these cards in publisher. I typed them. Um, I thought they looked a little nicer and added a little picture. And then there's some flags I just added and some arrows. So pretty simple. Uh, same thing. This is some scratch paper. Um, I cut it too short, so I added to this. Um, that was from my Creative Memories Border Punch uh, scrap that was left over. Put some finger foods because it's chicken slenders. Um, that was it. And then this one, I tried using my uh, We Are Memory Keepers typewriter. I still need to work on that. Um, but I was trying to fit it into this space as well. Um, I need to get the picture. And then this is the uh, Brie Reese acrylic paint, and I just rubbed it on with a baby wipe. So those are the recipes. And then I did a, I did two pocket page. This is the first one that I did. Um, this is about uh, spring break, and this was the last day, so we went and got our nails done. We went to dinner at Cheesecake Factory, and this is Liz, um She's finishing up her homework before she has to go to school the next day. But, um, and then um, I have more here that I have to print and I'll do the back. But I cut this down the hat, down the middle and put it on both sides and um, I'll do my journaling there. So that's that one. This is, um, so this is our Girl Scout troop selling cookies. I don't even know what year this is. This is older, but I put some, you know, random embellishments that were on my desk for a while on it. Um, I did the sprout. That was Creative Memories Border Punch again. This is just a strip of paper that was laying around. Um, I did make it so 
um, oh, February 2012. Um, so I could journal about the three different places. We had to go to the mall and we had all these cookies and we didn't realize that we were going to have to bring all the cookies from, you know, the front door all the way to the middle of the mall to sell the cookies. Luckily, somebody had a red wagon and we were able to put them in there and then, um, I took the wagon and these two girls made sure that they didn't fall. This is one of, uh, actually, this is my scrappy friend's daughter and then that's my daughter. And then we went to a grocery store and they uh, sold cookies there and then we sold cookies at our church and one of the dads photobombed. So those were always fun times. The girls like to do that. So this is the scrap lift from the front page of the paper pad. And this came together really easy. I just cut the three flags. Um, I had this done already. I uh, cut some circles. The only thing um, maybe I would add is a circular embellishment here. I couldn't find one. I wanted to stay true to just the um, kit. I didn't want to go looking for stuff. So um, I may find something there in November and just put it down. If not, it looks fine just the way it is as well. Um, this one I really enjoyed. Uh, this is so much more. So this is a tree in our old house that we did everything. You know, it told us the weather when it bloomed, the, the leaves were falling, you know, the snow was on the branches. Um, as I did dishes, I, I looked out the, to the backyard and I seen this tree. Uh, the kids played around it, you know, I, the dogs played around it. It just has a lot of meaning. So I wanted to uh, scrapbook that. So my daughter remembered this. This is a branding strip that I just cut into pieces and then... Um, put a little embellishment on it, um, and a flare. So this was also left over from, a, um, a tag that I did. It's somewhere in the, the stack I'll show to you, but yeah. Once again, not a meaningful story. This is one of the first ones I did with, um, the mixed media. It's okay. Um, Sometimes when the stories aren't that meaningful, it's hard to scrapbook them. I did find that. Um, but these are those drops that I used. I did some stenciling. I did some of the uh, packaging technique. Um, the picture's not very good. It's blurry, and that's why I got the not-so-perfect photo on there. Um, so it, it was a good memory, not just a very meaningful one. So... So this is our bearded dragon. Uh, his name was Lucky. And um, we would let them out to play, um, you know, some evenings on the carpet. And we just kind of hung out and, you know, watched them play and stuff. Well, Lucky um, that, that was very affectionate towards my dish towel that night. So we snapped a photo. And I just wanted to document that because that was funny. And uh, like I said, his name was Lucky. So I enjoyed doing this... Um, down the, down the side, the embellishments. Um, these are just leftover paper scraps that were on my desk. Uh, this was a cut apart. I cut off the, the top part of it. Um, it was really easy to put together. Um, I will do that again. And I always like using the horizontal and the vertical um, lettering. This is a two page. So this is a routine that we did um, when my daughter was young. I would pick her up at 12, 1230. We would um, have lunch. She would take her nap and then she'd wake up and then we would make dinner and we would play with bowls and the dogs before we started dinner. So this is the second page and this is our dogs. We had bull mastiffs back then. Um, and I love this picture of her waking up from her nap um, and she would play with her toys. She loved those Cheerios cups. But um, and I cut this paper in half because it's so busy. So it's on this side and this side. I found that that worked really well. The glitter was tough to use too in the paper pad. This one, I had a bunch of scraps on my desk. I just layered them um, on top of each other and just kept putting um, adhesive and laying them down. And this one came together all on its own. Basically, this is a story. Um, this is how you're supposed to use a crayon, and this is not how you're supposed to use a crayon. Um, but um, I wanted to document the pictures, but once again, not a huge story. Uh, just, just a blip in time that I want to remember. Um, this one is a two-pager, and this is about camp life. 
and these are the girls just hanging out at camp and I'll journal down the side here and then this is the first page and this this I really like this camp life in the blue with the red heart and then like a newspaper clip underneath it's so clean um, I, I do like that and this is just a strip from the paper pad um, that was a cut apart and some tags and these are our tents this is I am shocked at how good this came out I'm gonna be honest um, so I, I was halfway through this and I'm like oh I'm never gonna get through this paper pad um, so what I did is I took some paper and I just started folding it then I was like hey I'll make a fan out of it well they didn't go in circles so then I just started kind of cutting them and using double-sided tape and that's where I came up with this big circle um, and then I created a little circle and then I cut out some other circles and then I took her picture and the sides of it, um, you know, it's cut like this. So I decided to put all these, the butterflies and the flowers around it. Um, this middle, this, this circle right here is from the middle. So I had to reinforce it with uh, uh, stronger paper. So this, this layout is pretty, pretty, pretty thick and it is uh, a little heavy, but I, I love it. And then I did some of the uh, stenciling. Um, so this was the stencil part. And then I just took the paint. I think it was, what is it? Delusions paint. And I just rubbed, rubbed it on the rest of it. It was a craft. I don't know what this is called. So, oh, rose quartz. And it, and it, it I, I, like I said, I can't say it enough. I love this layout, but this one um this is after her lunch this will probably go with the other two page one it'll go before it but that's after she ate her lunch before she goes down for her nap and i just added a bow and some some little banners cutie patootie you can't really even see it that much i might add some lace or something to the side <clears throat> but this is uh four seasons in a week um i think this was may i think we had spring we had, no, this might have even been February, because um, I think I got back from doing the cookie sales. Um, we had, the bees were out with the dandelions, then we had rain, we had snow, and we had these big, huge clouds. Um, and that's how it went, one, two, three, four. And that's weather in Ohio, you never know what you're going to get. Um, but I was taking the pictures in the week, and I, you know, I love this picture, I love this one. And then I decided I'm just going to do all four pictures together and I you know we live in Ohio and that's um, that's just something for Liz to remember back if she ever moves out of the state so this one this is a scrap lift from Victoria Marie and what she did is she, instead of folding this she cut the triangle and put it on so it's not so bulky and then I put the tickets to Wicked here I'm gonna write about the story um, this is just the front page of the uh, flyer. And then I put it on just green stock. This is some more journaling. This is the patch that we um, got for going for Girl Scouts. And then this picture is before dinner, or before the show, we went to dinner. My daughter was goofing around. She didn't want her picture taken, so she was wrapping around her head and stuff. And I took the picture anyway. It was a weird looking picture, so I didn't want it on the front. So I just hid it inside the brochure. So there's that. And then this is another pocket page. And as I said, this paper was really hard to use, but um, it's it lifts up. So I cut here and I cut in just a little bit, I think. Yeah, I cut in that much. So I could slide the page in. And as you can see, I put the stickers on the outside. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and I just put pictures this is just a shirt that she always wore she liked to go in the dog crate um, and I put this as milestones adventures await and I'll put the the four milestones I want to talk about here and then I can journal here about this shirt that she she just loved that shirt um, but um, so yeah quick and easy and the last one I think this is yeah the last one is um, a card that she made me when she was in uh, daycare 
And this is my first Mother's Day, and I thought that this was great that her hand print was on there for so 2003. And um, the card had this little flower on it, so this is what the, the card looked like. But I wanted to include a picture of her at the same time, but I didn't want to cover up the card either. So I just kind of clipped it out and put that picture there of her. Um, who knows, maybe I might put another one inside to cover that up. I didn't even think about that when I, I did it. But um, And then I just put some Wasi tape here, did some banners. Um, this this paper is really cool, um, but it is loud, and, it, and and sometimes it is hard to work with. But I am glad that I, I got a lot accomplished from that paper pad. I'm glad that I did it. Um, like I said, I will probably be doing it again in two or three months. But my next kit, I think I'm going to go back to working on my Studio Calico kits, combining three of them together, and then doing that kit um, because I, I need a break from working with the same thing. So I hope you enjoyed my video, and uh, I will be back with my November kit. All right, have a good night. Bye-bye.